Um, hello, this is Rufino, and this is a video to continue uh, Christoph's How to Import a Custom Character into CryEngine tutorial. Uh, this is the CryEngine section, and I will be showing how to deal uh, how to deal with CryEngine. Um, just so you know, this is uh, what the original version of the CryEngine is. Uh, so you can just see the uh, default character running around. Of course, we'll be changing that. So over here I have a fresh build of CryEngine. Um, I've unpacked animation, objects, and scripts. Um, and I'm just going to jump right into it. So in objects, I'm going to jump into objects and in characters. Uh, Christoph uh, gave me .chr files that I'm going to bring into here. I'm going to go and make a folder called Alyssa. And I'm going to grab all of all of them and put them in here uh, so you can see it's a they're in here and I'm actually going to one thing okay one thing you really need to learn uh, to know is over here there's a file called skeleton skeleton character dot chr params uh, this is what basically specifies all the bones and animations of your player uh, well of your model so I'm going to go ahead and copy the parameters on the agent folder and bring it into a list folder. So we're going to, I'm going to open it up with Notepad, and you're going to. I'm not going to change any of this. Uh, it doesn't really help much. Actually, it doesn't help at all. And over here, you, what you just saw open is um, another version of her um, character params. So in animation list, this is what really matters. Um, is I'm going to replace this with file path. My file path is going to be <clears throat> animations Alyssa. And today I've decided I'm going to show you how to do walk forward, idle, and then trace back, left and right. So I'm going to put the. I'm going to erase this guy. And put these in. Um, so yeah, these are just the the file paths to the animations. I'm gonna go ahead and close the character params and put the animation files into the path I just specified. I'm gonna go back into objects. Actually, brought back into game animations. I'm gonna make a new folder called Alyssa, where I'm gonna bring all of these animations. Which is exactly what I want. So now I have to jump in into CryEngine to build um, Alyssa. Because as you've noticed, Kristoff gave me Alyssa in pieces. Um, I want to build her into an actual um, character, full, full character. I'm going to view open character editor. <clears throat> I'm going to open her skeleton params.chr. So here you have a triangle. This is exactly what he gave me, which is perfect. And the animations. But she's really not there yet. I have to make pieces and attach it to her. I'm going to go ahead and start with head. Over here, I'm going to attach her head. And then apply to actually put it on. And then you just got to do that for every piece. And clothing, <clears throat> her eyes, her eye shade. Yeah, he has eye shade. <laughs> no comment. Uh, her fingers, uh, her fur, which is basically. Oh, whoops. Or whatever. Um, the fur on her jacket. Um, I believe there's oh her gear. Just gonna put her gear on. Her armor, which I believe Kristoff called metal. Uh, what am I missing? Her hair. Her, her eyelashes. 
Yeah, she's completely yeah, in pieces. <laughs> and then her pop. And that gives me fully animated character. A uh, fully animated character. We go ahead and file and save Alyssa off in her old folder. Yeah, character params. Alyssa over here. I've I've already created one just for testing, but yeah, I just overwrite that. Um. Well, well, I overwrite it. You're gonna have your own fresh version. Um, so now I have a dot CDF, which I'm going to be using. If you're wondering where she's all red, it's just I haven't replaced her textures or determined her textures. It's just a really long and boring thing where I have to go here and basically tell her where all her um, uh, textures are uh, because it's following the wrong um, file path right now. So I'm not gonna bother doing that just because um, it should be pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. It's just really time consuming. I'm gonna close this off. I'm actually gonna close CryEngine completely. Again, mainly because when I downloaded this new version of CryEngine, it actually didn't come with an XML file I really um, like using. Um, so this XML file I, I can put in the YouTube uh, description down there um, for you to download. But, uh, but it's actually in animations, graphs, I'm going to bring in this girl test. This came with the previous version I downloaded. I'm not sure why it wasn't here this time. But yeah, I'm just going to put that in here and bring back CryEngine. <clears throat> so we've got to log in. I'm going to close this quickly. Let it do its thing. Open, and I'm going to go into animation graph, where I'm going to open that girl test. I'm going to complain that Jelena can't be found. It's okay. We're going to replace her right here. If you can't find the preview options, you can go to view preview options. I'm going to put Alyssa in here. Perfect. I'm going to go to locomotion here. Mainly because I use the default names, it's already doing the idles. But I want to make her walk left, forward, right, and back. So over here, I'm going to change her speed, her walk speed here to one, just because for Alyssa specifically, that's what be what works the best. Uh, you might have to play with the uh, the numbers. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead here and clone this node. Basically, this node tells it when you what conditions uh, it needs to fill for it to play the walk animation. Over here, I'm going to call it walk <clears throat> back, and then walk back here. And if you go down into the uh, selection criteria in unused, uh, you should see actual move direction. I'm going to go specified value backwards. So when the character is moving backwards, play this animation. I'm going to clone this. And do walk. Left. Left, and then this is going to be left. I'm sure you can guess what the next one is. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead, clone this, put it here. Put right, and here I'm just going to put walk right, and here I'm going to put walk right. So now I have a very simple animation graph, just telling uh, Alyssa how to behave in game. I'm going to save it off in the right directory, <clears throat> in animations, graphs, I'm just going to call it Alyssa. Now I can just close this off. I actually close Crunch and <laughs> all the way again. I'm gonna go back into game. I'm gonna search for player dot lua. Open the one that's that doesn't have a capital. I'm gonna replace this with Alyssa. And then this here 
with Alyssa Skeleton Character. Because just because that's what I named it. You can name it whatever you want. Whatever you want. Just make sure that your character params and your root chr are named the same. Um, so I should be able to save this off and have Alyssa working perfectly in game. I'm gonna quickly jump in. Oh! Now you can see I have Alyssa in game. So, but yeah, she's working perfectly. I mean, we don't have any jumper or zoom animations um, like I do. But, but yeah, it does work. And there we go. We have um, Alyssa working. Now here's a quick thing I'm going to show you that you should never do. Over here, when I first tried to bring in Alyssa, I'm like, oh, first person item hands model, I'm just going to replace that too. I'm just going to show you what happens when you do that. <laughs> yeah, basically you don't want to do this. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, while this loads, I can tell you, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Um, yeah, and basically, if you have any requests on another tutorial, also uh, let me know. I'm going to jump in the game, and you'll see it's going to take half an hour to start. There we go. And let me show you this. Go back into first person, and switch weapons. Yeah, no. Basically, I removed something that was necessary. Don't do that. I'm gonna close CryEngine again. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. You really don't wanna remove that. I'm gonna undo that, save it, so I don't ever have to deal with that again. And if you have any questions, yeah, let, let me know. Have a nice evening.